Everybody, we're the band Need to Breathe. This is Bo, Seth, I'm Bear, and you're watching 117 TV. Your love is like radiant diamonds bursting inside us. We cannot contain. Well, if you have a copy of Rivers in the Wasteland, then you know why this is the band Need to Breathe's highest debuting album yet. Congratulations to you guys. Thank you very much. Wildfire. Singing your name. All right, tell me about this. This is like giving birth to a baby, right? This this big project, studio album number five. Yeah, it's um yeah, it took us over a year to make it, um, and it was a it was a it was a em emotional process. It was a pretty big deal, um, and we're really really proud of it. Uh, I can't wait to play a song for people. Yeah, and you should be. I knew from the time I heard Difference Maker, which was at the K-Love Awards last year, that I could not wait to hear what was forthcoming on this project. And it does not disappoint. The album is great. And Thanks. tell me a little bit more about just some of the songs, some of the themes, and maybe compare it to, um, maybe for folks who have not heard the whole album, how it compares to past projects of what people are familiar with from you guys. Yeah, I think... The last record was a really big sounding record, yeah. um, and intentionally, you know, um, and we wanted to pare it down a lot and make a vulnerable sounding record, and, and um, I think that's what this does. We wanted to get in a room together and play live, and uh, lyrically, we wanted to do the same thing, just like get to the root of what matters to us, and, and um, the record really goes, I think, over a year period of time in our lives. When we first started, we didn't know what we were making, to be honest with you. The Wasteland really was a place we were at, just a kind of dark place when we started out and didn't really know where God was taking us um, and by the end of it God had put a river there there was such mm -hmm. a hope and, and I think it took us that whole year to figure that out um, we had to go through a lot of things personally I think to um, figure that out and it was such a blessing I think to be a part of um, and really the record is that journey uh, and you can I think you can hear that when you listen to it and it was we're, we feel blessed to be a part of that whole process and and um, it feels new and fresh to us and feel like God really did it to us and more than us something that we really made take me back a little bit did you guys set out to be a faith-based band or were you guys just looking to make music and that's where God led you I think we've always um, I mean faith has been a huge part of what we do but I think um, we set out to do I think I don't know what God wanted us to do in our lives, which which I think was to try to almost avoid sort sort of parts of our faith in a way. Um, we were preacher's kids, so we we knew like some of our our friends didn't want to come to church with us. So when we started making music, it was like we don't want to make music that that would exclude some people, which meant like our our fan, our friends or fans that were weren't Christians. You know, we didn't want to make music that only would be at a church or only would be at a Christian bookstore. Mm -hmm. So how can we reach other people? So that meant turning down some opportunities. If we got offered a big Christian tour that might mean a lot of money for us early on, that mean we might have to say no to that mm -hmm. um, in order to make sure we were casting a wide net. Um, or the opposite and saying yes to, for example, the Taylor Swift tour. Exactly. Which, which broadened such a wide audience for you guys. Exactly. And I think that was really where our hearts were. I feel like that's what God put on us early on. And I think we've always, we've made a lot of mistakes along the way. <laughs> We'd be the first <laughs> to tell you that we didn't get it right every time. Um, but that was really where our heart was and is now. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think this, this record is the same way. I mean, I think we're kind of finding our way every day and God's telling us something new. And, and right now, um, this record just, I think we needed to go through something personally on this record. And that really comes across uh, on this one. And it just, it's just a feel new more time so for than us. Others? I think so, yeah. Um, I, think, I think maybe we had something to say. Maybe outwardly, I think I think God was speaking to us on this record, and that really comes across. Mm, that's so cool. Really, really awesome. And I do love that. That just makes that crossover success that you guys have had that much sweeter. Yeah, I think it's I think it's huge. I mean, I think what's been really cool for us is, um, you know, as we've paid less attention to it, especially on this record, we we kind of after the whole Taylor Swift thing and a lot of things that have happened to us, yeah. um, we started to kind of say to ourselves, like, we don't really care about the success anymore. Let's just care about 
you know, the music that God's given us. Let's care about that, and let's if the success comes, it comes. Mm -hmm. And um, and through that, God's like been like, I'm gonna blow this up even bigger. Mm -hmm. It's been pretty amazing. Yeah, I think it's kind of fun, um, just being a fan of you guys, though, for people to kind of sit back and watch people who who love you guys, and then and then go, oh. Those are faith-based lyrics, you know, yeah. or to really realize kind of almost secondary what the music's sure. about. They just like the sound. I think that's a huge thing because obviously you need to have some sort of ground with people to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we definitely don't want to be, um, we didn't get into to be preachers or teachers or, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. we got into it because we had some ability to play music um, and, and we needed to develop that and then let God do the rest. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this album's so hot, you've got like two singles out at the same time. What's up with that? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we They're don't. multiplying, too, if I can yeah, use that pun. Yeah, you can. You can. Um, yeah, we have no idea what, hap I mean, which singles we pick at which time. Um, that, I don't know, do you guys know? It's beyond they, your control, right? It is, totally <laughs> is. Um, but it's really, it's really cool to see, like, people... Um, going to different songs at different times and, and even on the tour like seeing which cities are playing different singles mm -hmm. for us it's really cool to not know what song is big in what town well and you that. had a little fun with how you released the music too didn't you do mm -hmm. something a little sneaky with that too of um, leading we, up to the actual release of the album yeah we, we put a bunch of different songs out early and then we even put the whole record out before the, the thing was officially out on iTunes and we let the whole the, we had the whole record out for streaming uh, yeah. four days before the thing was out and we snuck some out on different websites and I mean, basically, we just want people to hear the, the music, yeah. ultimately. If we could give it away and, and still be able to do it, we would. Still be, be able to eat yeah. dinner. Yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> um, and, um, I mean, that's what we're trying to do with the show. Obviously, you want to keep the tickets low. And you just, we want people to be able to hear the music and experience it with us. Yeah, well, awesome. Well, it's so nice to catch up with you guys. And congratulations on the early success. I mean, the album just came out and is already doing so well. And lots of dates on the tour. Do you know offhand how many stops you're making on this one? Uh, I think there's, like... Maybe 90 official wow. shows on the tour so okay. far. Okay, so lots so. of chances to catch these guys. You can go to their website. You can also get the album there. You can get the album anywhere you buy music. But you definitely want to catch them on tour. I am in September right here in Nashville. I'm so excited. So great to catch right up on. with you guys. Congratulations. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it.